Okay guys, so I wanted to do a quick video for you on how I candle for sex with my hatchlings. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about the setup I have. I have a uh, pretty high lumen count flashlight and a paper plate with a triangle cut out in it. And I put that on the flashlight and we'll turn that on. It's going to be very bright. I have the lights off in the room also, which seems to help a little bit um, and I'll start grabbing monitors here and see if we can sex some of them so I got one of these guys this is one of my awesome hatchlings and uh, this one was actually a presumed male so I've already sexed this little guy uh, but I'll show you how to do it. They'll probably end up pooping because they get a little uncomfortable, but we'll use this guy because he's cool. Um, as you can see, hopefully you can see that. If you put your fingers next to them, you can, the light passes through your fingers and into the tail, and it turns a little blood red, and you can see the pockets. And you can actually see, you can see his hemipenes moving around in there. Um, you see him push out? As I put pressure on, the hemipene shooting down. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but this is for sure a male. The females are a little harder to sex because their pockets are a little rounder and you're actually looking for nothing to be present. Um, but this is definitely a male as you can see even though it's a hatchling it's developed enough to tell that it's a male. So I palpate the pockets and you can see the hemipene shoot down towards the tail. It's moving all the way down to here almost. So this is a definite male. Um, there's a... You can grab another one here. Hey little guy. I gotcha. Here's another one of my hatchlings. I have not sexed any of these other ones yet. But we'll go ahead and take a look at one of these guys. So they obviously don't like being on their back. Um, but this one would most likely be a female, luck of the draw. So you can see as I push on the hemipene pocket, nothing's moving down. The pockets are a little more shallow, more rounded. Um, it's hard to even see them, really. So I would say that this one would be a female. You can see the pockets don't there's nothing moving around in there and as they're squirming around there's the pockets aren't palpating or moving around and that's how I sex my monitors um, just so you know on some of the monitors uh, it's a little harder to to sex them just because of how large they are how they develop when they're smaller but for the most part the candling method works really well especially for hatchlings and um, that's what I do for candling. Hopefully that works out for you guys. If you guys are having trouble looking through their tails, you probably need a higher powered flashlight. Um, and also I have tried using a plate like this, where I had blocked out all the light and only sent through the triangle. And this actually doesn't work as well. It works better if you move your fingers close to the tail and the light will pass through your fingers and it illuminates the tail, which works a lot better from what I've understood and figured out by trial and error. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this helps you guys out with sexing your monitors in the future. And I appreciate your time. Keep feeding.